want to connect with the angels deeper or whenever you Hi, this is Hay House author Kyle Gray here. Today I'm going to share with you a meditation to start your day with the angels. In the famous words of Louise Hay, my teacher, she says, how you start your day is how you live your day. And so I believe that when we take the opportunity to start our day with the angels, we align our entire day to the frequency of the angelic. I've come to understand that the angelic frequency, uh, the energy of the angels, has four pillars. And these four pillars are very simple ideas that we can come to throughout our day. And every single time we align with the energy that they represent, we create this magnetic aura around us that attracts the presence of angels. The four pillars of the angelic frequency are as simple as this. The first one is authenticity. So authenticity is so important. Just by living a life aligned to truth and integrity, we attract the presence of angels. Everything in this entire universe is attractive in nature, and likeness attracts likeness. So when we align with the energy of integrity, when we align with the energy of authenticity, we draw in the presence of angels. The second pillar is devotion. And devotion can show up in many different ways uh, in our life. Devotion can be your devotion to a loved one. It can be your devotion to a cause. It could be your devotion to your creator or to the earth. And when we align to the energy of devotion, which is really just also this energy of gratitude and thanks, we draw in the presence of the angels. You know, this idea that the angels are in constant praise of their creator. And the reason that the angels love us so much is because we are one with the creator. So the reason the angels love us is because they can see the God particle inside of us. So the energy of devotion is attractive in nature to the angels. Devotion can be in many different ways, you know, and it also can be just those moments where you're grateful uh, for life itself. The next pillar of the angelic frequency is love. When you do anything with love, you are attracting the angels in. So that can be how you go about your day, you know, how you look after your garden, it could be um, how you express yourself in your workplace. All things done with love attract in the presence of angels. And the final pillar is service. Through service, we can be sustained. The angels ultimately are the messengers of the divine, and so therefore they are beings of service. And when we do acts and share acts of kindness and service with others, we also attract in the presence of angels. Through my own experience, I realized that when I dedicate my spiritual practice to the service of the world and service of others, my own connection with the angels improved. So whenever you want to connect with the angels deeper or whenever you want to open up spiritually, align with the energy of service and you will be in alignment with the frequency of the angelic. This is my morning meditation. Closing your eyes and switching on the deepest quality of your breath. Breathing in a way that feels rhythmic but gentle. Begin to focus on a part of your body that you know needs more light, more love, more care. And if it supports you breathing towards that particular part of your body, bring your hand there now. As you breathe towards this part of your being, with focus and attention, you are drawing pure life force towards that part of your body. You're creating a space for the miraculous. You're holding space for this particular part of your being to return to its natural state of wholeness. You are safe. Breathe.
breathe. The rest will take care of itself. Your body is healing itself. Remember, your health is your wealth. In order for you to hear messages and divine guidance from your guardian angels, it's essential that you start by listening to yourself. So as you tune into your body and breathe, allow it to share with you any information that it needs to share. And be open to hearing what it has to say. The first pillar of the angelic frequency is authenticity. Being open to the truth and having the highest integrity to hear that is what will support you in creating a magnetic aura towards the presence of angels. Whatever rises up, whatever you hear, meet it with grace, with love, with openness. When you feel that you have received what you need to receive, bring your palms down towards your lap, palms facing upwards as to receive, and begin to focus on the center of your chest at your heart. Your heart is a stargate. The sacred space inside of you represents the part of you that was never born and so therefore will never die. The eternal you. The you that's never even left the presence of God. The you that is still aligned with the heart of the universe. And through connecting with the heart, you open up to the great wisdom of the universe. In order for you to switch on the light of your heart, all you have to do is think about what you're grateful for. The angels love to hear you say thank you, but not because they want praise. The angels love to hear you say thank you for when you focus on what you're grateful for, the gratitude you feel holds a sacred space within you for you to experience the miraculous. The gratitude you feel is a magnetic presence that draws miracles into your life. So begin to think about something that you are grateful for. It could be your health, someone you love, a fond memory, or even this opportunity. As you focus on what you're grateful for, it generates a golden light in the center of your chest that grows brighter and brighter. This light washes over the entirety of your body and being. It spreads across your chest and collarbones, It spreads across your shoulder blades and down your back. The light fills the top of your back, the middle of your back, the lower back. The light washes down the belly and abdomen, all the way past the pubic bone and genitals, the thighs, knees, 
calves, shins, ankles, tops of the feet, soles of the feet, and every single toe. The light reaches from the heart down both of the arms, shoulders, tops of the arms, elbow, forearms, all the way through the palms and through each and every single finger. The light moves up the neck, chin, cheeks, nose, lips, ears, eyes, forehead, and from the crown of your head, through each and every strand of hair, and up. The light that you see is your light. Today you are invited and encouraged to bask within it. But the light that you see and the light that you are is magnetic in presence. And it begins to draw towards you other great lights. And those lights are known as angels. Angels of light on your left Angels of light on your right. Angels before you, behind you, above and below you. Holding you in a sacred and safe space. For you to connect with the light of your soul. And the voice of divine guidance. The second pillar of the angelic frequency is devotion. Devotion can be something different to every single person. But in this moment, allow your devotion to reach towards the great Mother Earth, the planet that we call home, the planet that you chose to incarnate upon. Give thanks to the Earth. Thank that great mother for holding you, hosting you, and every single day nourishing you. And as you tune into the energy of gratitude and devotion, the angels step closer and closer so that you're now beginning to feel them around you. As you send your thanks into the heart of the earth, now begin to send your thanks upwards to the great Father of the sky, Source, the universe, God. Be grateful for the capacity to live and love. Remember that you are lovable and loving. Thank your Creator for allowing you to be one with them. And as you have thanked the earth and thanked the heavens, you have created a bridge of light and goodness between the realms, a bridge that angels can cross. And in this moment, say this, thank you, angels. Thank you, angels, for reminding me of your presence. It feels so good to know you are here. And as you feel and tune into the presence of your guardian angel and the angels who are working with you, Become aware if you can feel them on your left or right, slightly before you, slightly behind you, slightly above you, maybe at your feet. Tuning into where the angels are, allowing your clairvoyance and clairsentience to open wide so that not only can you feel them, but maybe create a picture inside of your mind of what they look like. Are they appearing as a figure? Or a light 
Or can you just know that there is this invisible presence with you now? Now's the opportunity to switch on the audio by saying, thank you angels for revealing to me what I need to know. I am willing to listen. And the thoughts of your angels may show up as a voice in your mind, or they may appear as a download, clear cognizance, receiving through just deep knowing. Thank you, angels, for revealing to me what I need to know. I am willing to listen. Remembering the first pillar of the angelic frequency, authenticity, truth and integrity. So whatever comes through, trust what you hear. Know that whenever your angels speak to you, if you feel calm, there's no overwhelm, no sense of anxiousness, then that is the angels. If you feel overwhelmed or scared, or you maybe feel extra anxious, often that is the voice of fear doing the talking. And whenever the voice of fear rises up to say, thank you for sharing, but I'm letting you go with love. As soon as you try to fight away with fear, you create a war in your own mind. So let it go with love. The third pillar of the angelic frequency is love. You are love. You deserve love come from love, and one day you will return to love. The truth of the matter is you have never left the presence of love. And when you love without condition, when you express love and receive love, you align with the angelic frequency. Now begin to think about someone that you want to send extra love, extra care, extra light to. The fourth pillar of the angelic frequency is service. And when we dedicate our spiritual practice to the service of others, we draw in the presence of angels. Through service, we are sustained. So now that you have spent time receiving what you need to hear, now that you've spent time working on your own energy and inviting the energy of the angels into the space with you, the way to improve your connection, and to strengthen it, is also to share it. So think about someone in the world, someone you love, someone in need. It could even be an entire country or particular situation begin to think of them now and imagine visualize hands of light loving light golden light washing over the people the place the situation or the person that you want to send love and light to today. And as you dedicate this energy and this love to them, set the intention that you are sending it towards them for the highest good and under the law of grace. And the divine law of grace basically says this, if I am not able to ask for help myself, may my soul do this for me. 
And so when you send love and light towards a person or a situation, if they're not able to ask for help for whatever reason, but they really do need it, their soul or the soul of the space can accept it for them. So for the highest good and under the law of grace, I send this light. Today you have aligned with the four pillars of the angelic frequency. Authenticity, devotion, love, and service. Bring your left hand onto heart, right hand onto belly. Breathe towards your hands. The angels are here. Thank you, angels. Thank you for reminding me of your presence, for being here with me today. I surrender my day to you, knowing that you will lead the way, knowing the only good is lying before me. Only good is unfolding. Thank you, angels, for revealing to me all that I need to know in the perfect time-space sequence. I am willing to listen. I am willing to be led. I'm willing to be reminded of your presence. All of these prayers and all of these intentions have been said for the highest good in the presence of love, the great father of the sky and the great mother of the earth. And so it is.